Now I have no hands to type. Aha! I still have no hands to type. So to code in the terminal, we're going to use this Pico thing here. Um, you just type Pico in the name of your file. So I'm going to keep it nice and short, so it's at the top of the end. I'm going to go ss.py, because it's a Python file. There we go. I'm into my um, text editor here. So um, what? And what I'm going to type here is uh, just a very simple, like, print some line to the screen, you know, um, so that it looks vaguely like I typed something. And there's a very small program. That's grand. OK, I'm going to save that. Now, uh, to save it, you can just press exit. and It'll ask you to save on the way out. OK. Um, oh, just before I do that, sorry, before I do that, um, I'm going to show you how to select text because it's a bit weird in this. You actually press um, Control Shift and the little um, that little tri up triangle was it like a chevron? It's Control Shift six on the keyboard and you select like with the arrows and then Control Shift. Actually, where well, you can control you can Control K to cut it if you want. Okay, um, like that. Okay, and uncut you know Control U to put it back. Okay, Brand, I'm going to exit this. I'm going to press Control X to save. And I hit yes, and yes, grants, manifest, okay. Cool. Now, uh, there's my um, text file saved. It's not quite ready to be run in Python just yet. I've got to make it executable, okay? So to make it executable, I'm going to just look in the folder, press ls to look around and see what else is in the directory, okay? Um, once I've looked around, I can see, let's see, where was it called, SS, oh, there it is. Now, you notice it's not in green, okay? It's not in green, which means it's not ready to be run. Uh, so I'm going to make it executable. Fine, don't like Pico. Um, you like Pico, right? Um, so I'm going <laughs> to type ch mod. Yep, you'll be back. They always come back. Um, chmod, in the name of your file, your file here was uh, ss.py, and there we go. Now it looks like nothing's happened, but wait, wait, press ls to look around. ls, by the way, is a list of everything around you. Check it out. ss.py is now green and lit up. So it's time to run it in Python. So I can just type python3. Put a pseudo in front of this to be doing anything important like running motors. Um, it's misspelled Python. Um, Python three, and then um, the name of your file, which was ss.py, and there we go. It's running the program. That was my program. It's not a great program, but hey, look, it worked, didn't it? Never want to pico that again. You know, you just go into pico. Actually, you know, you could. Go into peak like this and then like try and read the file. So, you know, control or that's kind of like open. Um, open the file. I think it was what was it? SS.py. Okay, there we go. It's open again. Um, there's a few weird things like check it out. Like, write out is weird all speak for save. So that's that control W. Um, Read file is a weird old Unix speak for open. That's what we call it these days. It's a pretty old program. And, um, and then there's cut and untech. Oh, cut and uncut is copy and paste. All right. Yeah, you're very patient. There you go. Um, grand. And that's everything. Okay. Bye bye. Say bye bye.